Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are talking about the case sensitivity in PHP programming language. PHP functions, classes, core language keywords are the case insensitive. That means you can write classes, functions, and keyword in any case. For example, you can write your echo right here with that state, and you can write like this as well. Both these are give you the output or you can write your date functions like this one you can write your date functions like this as well and you can write your function uh, date functions like this as well firstly i have to see these things and then i will move to next right here here you can see that i have to write php okay inside this php i have to write echo and here i just write that this is case sensitive in php i just want to get the output right here then here i just write a br tag okay here you can see that when you are writing inline br tag so simply you have to write dot sign and then you have to write single line break after that you can see here i have to write capital equal right here then here you can see that this is the case sensitive in php then br tab and here i just write case sensitive in php and here i just write echo right here and i just close this code right here hope so you understand now now here i just check this in the browser so here you will see that that this is the case sensitive in php with a small echo and this is with a capital echo as well here you can see that output now i'll just turn to next here I just write that echo and echo here is I have to write that a date function. Inside this you can see here I have to write that firstly year then month sorry here I have to write year then month and then day right here. Okay here you can see that. After that I have to write dot and then br tag this is a br tag right here and i just close this code right here okay here you can see that i have to write date with a capital and here i have to write um, yes okay date and here i have to write this date sign with the format of dot as well and just go to the browser run that so you can see here that will show me the today date as the date functions right here hope so you understand now now here i will show you one another example with a case sensitivity how is it here i just write php then here you can see that i just write let's suppose the variable number one okay this is the variable number one right here which is equal to here i just write that let's suppose here i have to write variable number one right here okay and close this code right here now here you will see that firstly i have to write dollar sign which is variable number one and which is equal to the one right here now here i just write echo and here i just write variable and the variable here is and this is the variable here is i have to write this variable number one right here so that will give me the output if i just write the variable number one like this so that will show me the error into the compiler this is also called the case sensitivity now here i will tell you one another thing right here was that here you can see that that is you may say that a white spaces so what are the white spaces in an, any programming language the white spaces the space between the ignored by the php that means that the find to leave the several new lines let's suppose here i just write this kind of a space into this code and this code so this is called the white spaces so this is not a good programming practice so you have to leave that much of lines into your code hope so you understand now so these are the case sensitivity in a php programming language if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture